Hi guys, this is Grace Manzi at Grace Manzi Sewing Made Easy. Everything is easy on this channel. Today I've got yet another, another easy make for you, a DIY maxi gathered skirt, okay, with pockets. Very easy as you will soon discover. Right, before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Oh, well over 900 of you now. It, this is so encouraging. We are getting somewhere, guys. Okay, invite your friends, share with your friends who are like-minded. And yes, we'll get there. We'll get somewhere. I just want to say thank you so much for the likes and also for the comments. Right. If you are watching me for the first time, today is your day. Just hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. So you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. There are so many of them line, lined up for you guys, believe you me. Okay. And by the way, also follow me on Instagram at Grace Manzi 1997 at Grace Manzi 1997 There are so many things that I make also uh, which are on my Instagram. I may not and be able to put them on video but if you are interested in any of them feel free to request then i can make videos of them okay so without wasting much time let us just get straight into the video you are going to need the fabric interfacing a matching zipper a pair of scissors some buttons i've got two here because they are relatively small but you can have one if it's big you also need your tape measure and a chalk now these are the measurements required you need to take your waist measurement your hip also you need to determine your skirt length the full length and also the waist bend you need to know before you start cutting out your fabric how wide you want your waist bend to be now this is how you are going to cut out your fabric okay you are going to need two pieces for the back and one piece for the front and the waist bend okay so i'm going to explain to you how you cut out those three pieces of fabric starting with the skirt front okay you need to divide your hip measurement by two okay and then add a quarter of the hip measurement or half of the hip measurement or even multiply it by two if you want it very flat okay so it's plus a quarter or more depending on your preference okay so you need to add one inch on either side right for sewing allowance also adding half an inch sewing allowance at the top and the desired hem okay so that's the front done for the back, you need to cut out two pieces, okay? Right. That is your hip allowance, that, that desired hip that you've determined when you were cutting the front. You just cut that one in half, adding one inch on either side for sewing allowance, half an inch at the top there, okay? This is your total skirt length plus the hem allowance that you have also determined. It's, it's all according to what you want to, to make if you want a thick hem like four inches it's all up to you one inch half an inch so the hem really is your preference for the waist bend it is your desired uh, width of the waist bend times two okay plus half an inch at the top and half an inch so if mine is two and a half inches that's the width I multiply that by two I get five okay so I'm going to add half an inch at the top and half an inch at the bottom and all together it's going to be six inches so the width of this strip here is six inches okay and then to my waist measurement which is 36 I'm going to add half an inch sewing allowance here on either side okay plus also two inches for the buttonhole uh, flap. So that will be 36 plus two, 38 plus 
half an inch on the other side that will make it 39 so at, at the end it's going to be 39 by 6 inches okay so as you can see guys my table is very small for for you to really see what's happening here so this is the back okay and this is the front and i have put some pins here okay to join the the two sides of the back as you can see right when you join these two using one inch sewing allowance your two pieces should match with the front on the sides here okay and this is the wrong side of the fabric make sure to mark it okay so as you can see that's my skirt done the front and the two pieces for the back okay so that's my front there and these are the two pieces for the back okay right that's what it is now okay so i also went ahead and cut out the the waist bend okay and here is the waist bend right here is my waist bend okay when i fold it in half like that i should get at least a uh, three three inches okay so when i use take off one half an inch sewing allowance i'm going to end up with the desired two and a half inch thickness of the waist bend okay and also i've also cut out the um interfacing okay i've made two because i i couldn't get this a full length to cater for the whole waist bend now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the pockets these are optional okay so i'm going to show you how to cut out the pockets okay to cut out the pocket make sure you've got four layers of fabric okay these are four layers one two three and four okay so what you do is you just put your hand there like you're putting your hand in the pocket okay and then you draw along the the hand like that okay and you see that leaving as, as much room as you can just like your hand is in the pocket as you can see the pocket is done okay that's the shape of your pocket so the next thing you do is just go ahead and cut it out So that you have four separate pieces. Okay, that's pockets done. So now we are ready for, to start sewing. Now to start sewing, start by putting together the two back pieces as you can see. Okay, joining them together here. Just put some pins there. Using one inch sewing allowance, join those two pieces together okay all the way up to this end where you are going to attach the zip okay so when you join them together open the seam okay open the seam like that and then put the zip on and then just sew around it okay so that's what i'm going to do now okay so the back seam is done and the zip is in place as you can see right so the next thing you are going to do is to go to the right side of your of your back okay with the right side facing pin the pockets in place so how do you determine where to pin the pocket you just measure four inches down from the waistline okay right and that is where you are going to pin your your pocket like this okay So I, I take the other side of the skirt, okay, and I measure four inches down from the waistline, 
right? Okay. I get the pocket with the right side facing. I pin the pocket in place as well. So I'm going to do the same with the front piece, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is just to use half an inch sewing allowance to join the pocket to the back and front pieces of my skirt, okay? And then overlock just that little bit where the pocket is, okay? To tidy it up or you can just leave it but I prefer overlocking that, that place, okay? So that my skirt is nice and neat inside as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. The next thing you are going to do is to join the front and back pieces together, okay? That's the back and this is the front, okay? And this is the side where the, the pockets are, right? The right side facing, okay? You are going to pin in place, right? matching the pockets pin it in place all the way down from the waistline okay like I'm doing now okay match the pockets So the next thing I'm going to do is just to use one inch sewing allowance starting from the waistline going down, okay, go down half an inch at the pocket here, okay, and then go around the pocket half an inch up to here and then finish off all the way to the hem using one inch sewing allowance, okay. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and then overlock all the way from the waistline down on both sides of my skirt. Now the side seams are done, as you can see, okay? And the overlocking done around the pockets all the way down. So the next thing to do is just to do the uh, gathering stitch. A gathering stitch is done by tuning your sewing machine to the widest stitch okay the longest stitch if you understand what i mean which which is very flexible that you can draw one string from either front or back and make some gathers from it so i always prefer doing two rows but if you are comfortable with one that's okay so i'm going to do two rows of gathering stitch all the way around the, the waistline okay that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to pull the, those gathers to match my waistline okay I've made a gathering stitch twice already in the previous videos and I've made a detailed explanation of how to pull the gathers so that's what I'm going to do put the gathering stitch and pull them to the waistline measurement okay as you can see the skirt is almost done. I've done pulled the gathers to the size of my waistline. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to attach the waistband 
okay and then i do the hem if the skirt will be done okay then i will show you as usual i'll put it on and show you how it looks i hope it's going to fit very well and i've been longing to have a long skirt like this so yeah thank you very much for watching and happy sewing god bless you